Hi everyone. Uh, one thing that this movie uh, proves without a shadow of a doubt whether I like the film or not, something I've always suspected. All corrupt politicians are cat people. I knew it. Hi everybody. Uh, it's me, uh, Grant the Movie and TV Guy, and uh, Paw Patrol's on a roll and so am I. Um, that gave it away. Um, I uh, just saw maybe the coolest toy commercial, honestly kind of ever, not gonna lie, um, uh, but it actually was a movie. Movies and TV is what we do here. I'm Grant, the Movie and TV Guy. And we were talking about a movie that uh, I saw in a theater with other people. Um, most of them very, like, a good two decades younger than I am and their parents. And that movie was, with other people, don't worry, uh, Paw Patrol the Movie. Um, Paw Patrol the Movie. Based on the Nickelodeon cartoon, it is uh, directed by uh, Cal Brunker, I believe it is. Not related in any relation to the director of the movie I did earlier that I know of, uh, David Bruckner. Um... Oh yeah, Paw Patrol the movie is totally a perfect companion to the Nighthouse. It's all about grief. Honestly, in some ways it kind of is, uh, weirdly enough. Uh, so what's Paw Patrol the movie about? Well, um, it's based on the massively popular uh, Nickelodeon cartoon on their Nick Jr. box. It's actually one of two movies based on Nick shows that have come out today, weirdly enough. Uh, one of them might be coming up, and uh, the person I'm with already watched it and said it, uh, gave me the seal of approval, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, but this movie is uh, streaming on Paramount Plus as well as playing in theaters. That's where I saw it, and um, even though I have Paramount Plus... What's it about? Well, um, the villainous, the villainous Donald Trump, I mean Mike Pence, I mean Mayor Humdinger, sorry, um, in the pro who uh, used to, who on the show um, ruled the, the obviously very Canadian city of Adventure Bay um, with an iron fist with his evil schemes, has now moved on to a bigger kahuna, Adventure City, the neighboring town, and has become, been elected mayor. And uh, basically, um, but who protects Adventure Bay? The Paw Patrol, of course. Uh, hero Ryder and his pups who all serve kind of purpose. There's kind of Police Dog Chase, who's mine and pretty much everyone's favorite. Rubble, who's also everyone's favorite, including my own, who's like a construction dog. And their various friends. And basically, um, they face their biggest adventure ever, like weirdly high stakes, when uh, Mayor Donald Trump, sorry, Mayor Humdinger, sorry, they're just exactly the same to me. Um, they also have bad toupees. Uh, to it's pronounced two. Um, he basically, um, with a young scientist played by Yara Shahidi, I believe, um, creates a weather machine to steal the clouds out of the sky to control the weather, um, and therefore, um, much like Jurassic Park, you play God, you lose, and it causes, um, peril after peril to the neighboring adventure city. Will the Paw Patrol save the day and will Chase overcome his traumatic past, I'm not kidding, to save the day too and be the hero he's born to be? Um, Paw Patrol's on a roll. Let the adventure begin. I'm not going to lie here. I wanted to see this movie because basically, and I went with other people, don't worry, I didn't go alone. I wasn't the creepy lone guy in there. Even though anyone asked me, I could have just been like, it's for a website. Because it kind of is. But basically, I went in there like, I've seen the show from time to time. It's usually the equivalent of either I'm with a child in my life, or I fall asleep kind of half tuckered out watching a George R Lopez rerun of Nick at Night and I wake up to Paw Patrol kind of drugging. I'm like, yeah, this is colorful and sweet. I'll watch this. From what little I've seen of the show, though, it seems like the movie, the show itself, it's like minor inconveniences, just kind of socially conscious adventures that are cool, like, oh, we're gonna you know, clean up the park or something. With cool. This movie, I am not kidding you when I say, first off, I kind of loved Paw Patrol the movie, weirdly. It's at like 90%. I'm not the only one. Um, also, honest to God, so it's kind of high stakes, especially for a Nickelodeon movie, because it is, like, it's Nickelodeon movies. Like, it has the big logo. But, like, Nickelodeon movies, they do some cool flicks, but most of the time when they, when they take their own shows and adapt them, it's maybe slightly elevated, but it's, like, I haven't seen Life or Death, Honest to God, stakes in a Nickelodeon car a Nicktoon to film since, like, the first Spongebob movie. Like, this is really high stakes, oddly. Um, it also, weirdly, has a lot of interesting things to say about uh, community uh, support, and, like, being a good citizen, like, there's this weird kind of minor subplot involving the new character Liberty, who's kind of adorable, played by Marcy Martin, who kind of takes care of a litter bug on a subway, and then it comes into play later where basically she says, like, you need to do better, mister, and he, he's, like, this tough dude with, like, tattoos, and he's like, okay, I'll change my ways, and he does. It's kind of cute. Um, there's some great running bits. Mayor Humdinger is Donald Trump. The reason I know he made that joke, but he kind of is, because the whole, um, it's weirdly a movie about political corruption, and, like, 
mental health. I'm not even kidding you. Like, this movie is surprisingly deep for a Nick movie while still having time for, like, fart jokes and, and high energy adventure. I'm not even kidding you. There's, um, the backstory with Chase is honest to God kind of moving. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of almost got a little misty eyed. Um, involving how his friendship with writers started, he was, you know, basically reminded me of kind of the beginning of, like, Beethoven, where he's left behind in Adventure City and kind of left on the street abandoned, and then writer saves him, and it's kind of adorable. He also reminds me of my puppy. Um, but at the same time, at the end of the movie, like, at the end of, like, an average of Paw Patrol, okay, say, oh, no, the park is dirty. We gotta clean up all the trash. We can do it. That's how they resolve it. This movie, the last 20 minutes, it's like the G-rated Nickelodeon version of freaking Twister. I'm not even kidding. Like, build, it's like Man of Steel. Buildings are toppling on each other. I'm not kidding. There is literally a part where, like, Ryder is hanging out with the elevator shaft, and at one moment he's under rubble, and it's almost as if he d doesn't make it for, like, a second. There's a scene where, um... Remind me of the one in Homecoming with Chase, where it's like, you know, like, come on, Spider-Man, he's under the rubble. It's kind of tense. Like, there was one kid in the movie, honest to God, was kind of going like, Mommy, and I'm like, I'm with you, kid. This is tense for this movie. I was not expecting this, and I kind of liked it. Um, it's not perfect. I'm not going to go, like, with the full way with it, but, like, this is shockingly not even a good man. This is a, this is a full price for me. This is, pa who think Paw Patrol the movie has merit. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, it's Mitchell's versus Machines level good where you can watch it without kids and really get as much out of it, if not more so, than your kids would. No. But it's perfectly... It's harmless, and it has something to say. Like, there's things... Um, like, there's lines in the movie. One, there's kind of a great running bit about, which I immediately hated, where Humdinger was trying to make... It's in the trailer. Um, a subway system that has, like, a loop-to-loop, -loop, like a roller coaster. And they have Jimmy Kimmel playing a cartoon who's Jimmy Kimmel. Um, he's, like, a news reporter with a, also a bad, you know, piece. He goes... This is, and just, that whole five minutes is just like, this is not going to work. This is the dumbest plan ever. This, this sucks. This is bad. And it just, immediately people's lives are in danger. He's like, told you it was dumb. Kind of funny. Um, also as a toy commercial, like this, if I were six and I'm, you know, a good two decades older than the target audience, if I were six, I would want a place out of that new, like some of the, 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 the toys, basically the toy etics of them. It's kind of cool. Like I kind of see that being a cool like toy. Um, but then again, like. President Trump, I mean, Mayor Humdinger, <laughs> I'm, I'll stop, I promise. Mayor Humdinger has, like, this line about how, like, something like, what does he, someone say, like, like, you can't do this, something like that kind of boilerplate dialogue, and then he goes, listen, he says, I'm the mayor. My job is to make short-sighted decisions, decisions, spending lots of money making short-sighted decisions without even thinking about my constituents. I'm like, this is really kind of funny and sharp. Um, there's another part where they do, like, a Peter Rabbit 2 thing where they're, like, uh, someone, I think it's, like, the new dog Liberty says to Ryder, like, how do you afford this place? And he goes, pulls out, like, a legit t-shirt you'd buy at Walmart and goes, we sell Paw Patrol merchandise, ding! And I'm like, and that's, I want that. I'm like, that's really funny. Um, there's, and then, like, again, there is a moment that is legitimately, like, take a mental health day dramatic moment, like, where Chase, he was abandoned, he doesn't, he, like, tenses up, and Ryder goes, like, and he's a puppy, so he doesn't understand. Like, he's basically a little kid, but he's like, dude, like, you're 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 going through a traumatic situation. It's triggering. Like, go take the day off. Take a mental health day. He's like, and it's kind of touching where he doesn't know how to react. I'm like, this is, I could have used this movie when I was six. Why didn't this movie exist when I was six? Um, honestly, God, I kind of love the Paw Patrol the movie. Surprising. Um, I'm not going to go all the way with it, but I'm going to go far enough. I'm going to go at least a two block walk. I'm going to give Paw Patrol the movie four to five stars. This is a shockingly good movie. This is on the same level to me as something... Yeah, that's right. I gave Paw Patrol the same score I gave Free Guy. And a higher score than Don't Breathe 2. So what? I really dug it. Um, I'm going to give Paw Patrol the movie, you got to be honest. Surprisingly exceeded my very slim expectations. I will give Paw Patrol the movie four to stars. Well, the animation is kind of awesome. Um, they did a, kind of an upgrade from the show. Um, it's saying something that the weakest thing in the movie is, is Kim Kardashian, who has two scenes... And even that's redeemed because it leads to one of the best jokes in the movie where they compare. She's like a poodle. And there's a part where Liberty goes like, she's being, she's, again, just Kim Kardashian is a dog. And I think it's also kind of a nice little kind of, you know, middle figure that she's still going by Kim Kardashian West because she wasn't divorced from Kanye yet. He's still the most interesting thing about her. But basically, and then like Liberty goes, a lot of shade to be thrown by a dog who looks, <laughs> who looks like a toilet brush. I'm like, <clears throat> Okay, that, it redeemed that for me. Yeah, this is pretty great. Uh, Paw Patrol movie gets four to five stars, surprisingly. Um, 
Two of the Trash. Weirdly short. Um, we have, um, let's see. I don't, I can just remember it off the top. Um, we had, maybe, um, oh, darn it. What was the first one? I just thought, I just remembered and now I just lost it. What was it? Ah. Uh, hold on. Never trust Grant to remember. He's always going to forget one thing. Oh, Sing 2. Okay. No, it was what we talked about before. Sing 2. Um, the only one I, um, in Kanto, which I've never even heard of, it's the new Disney film. It looks kind of cute. It's hard to tell kind of what it's about, but it's Lin Manuel Miranda, so I'll go see it. Um, and then. Um, oh, Ron's Gone Wrong. We talked about that one. It looks kind of funny. Um, and the last one is. Uh, this one called Rumble? It's like uh, giant monsters who are like wrestlers. It looks cute. Will Arnett's in it, so I'll see it for that reason. Um, was it Sharma? Not really, but there's some really cute animations throughout the, the end credits. Um, okay. Um, we'll be back later with uh, the other Nickelodeon movie. To, it's Loud House, the movie. Which I actually kind of like that show. I've watched that a few times. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow we got The Protégé and... Reminiscence, and then Sunday's Annette, and maybe Vivo. That'll be next time, and until next time, Vivo at some point. That'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grand Movie and TV Guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. Oh, one more thing. So when I forgot to add this, in the Nighthouse, first off, the friend in that is played by Sally from Barry. I thought that was pretty dope. The other thing is, I sw our theater, I apparently because of like people sneaking in, they don't put the name on the like the marquee to the theater. So when I saw the night house earlier, there was a guy who came in with a baby at one point, like in, at the beginning of the movie, and immediately left when he realized, I think he was looking for a Paw Patrol because it's like pretty much next door. It's kind of funny. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. I love you all. Appreciate, as I was saying, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you 3000. Kind of one another. And surprisingly, go see Paw Patrol the movie. Even if you barely watch the show like me, it's pretty great. Um, surprisingly. And kind of badass. Um... Um, if you like this, give it a like if you want to. Um, give it a subscribe if you want to. Click the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's, what, I guess, what you're supposed to do. And um, um, if you want to see me elsewhere, I am on letterbox.com at Grant the Movie and TV Guy. Um, check out my buddy. He went to the movie with me, JW. He's also here on um, YouTube, and he does some pretty terrific covers of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Go check him out. He has some cool animations. Um, yeah. And uh, thank you all. Take care. See you later. Bye.